Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dave and this is Blind Man Overland. Uh, and today we're going to do a truck video. This is going to be a video you're going to want to stick around to see because we're going to be running all of our accessories to the S-Pod today. We're going to be installing an air compressor in the back of the grill. That location might change depending on where the brain is going to need to sit for the winch once that gets, uh, once that gets purchased. Uh, we're going to recoat the grill because it's starting to chip. But before any of that happens, uh, we need to get some coffee going uh, and lay out our tools so that I'm not running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So if you haven't already, guys, hit that like and subscribe button as you hear every other YouTuber say all the time. Um, we've got like 500, we got a little over 500 people right now on our channel. So welcome to all the newcomers. Let's, uh, let's get some coffee and stuff going so we can get at it. <clears throat> First things first, we're going to remove the grill. Uh, how we're going to do that is really easy. There's one, two, three, four, five, six push pins in the top fascia. We're going to pop those up. And I don't care if I break some of them because I've brought some more to replace them with. It's all right. Okay, then we're going to pull it forward a little bit. Right, just like that. We're going to reach our hand inside and there's two tabs. We're just gonna pop them out like that. And then like that. Right, and then that whole thing just lifts off. And those are the tabs. So you got four here, not two, sorry. One, two, three, four. So now the grill's off. You can kind of see we've got the air compressor kind of um, sitting in there temporarily just as like a mock-up trying to see how it's going to look and uh yeah it's probably where it's going to sit okay so uh i want to show you guys something um if you're going to be modding or modifying a non-permanently mounted air compressor to function as one uh you need to be aware that the switch you use to engage the actual pump itself not engaging the power to it but the actual pump itself um, needs to be one that's got a high amperage rating because if you're just using a little push, uh, a circuit interrupter switch like this, it's not going to work. As you see here, the uh, the switch, the amperage going through the switch was just too much and it started to melt. And it actually separated one of the um, power leads <clears throat> from its um, soldered location. So if we try to push this in right now, it won't click. Right? And we should be getting a click, 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 click every time we... We push down there. So this isn't going to work. What I'm going to do is cut this off. Um, then I'm going to mount this thing, the air compressor, down permanently. And I'm probably going to use uh, a couple of brackets that I'll fab up and install. Uh, and then we can finish running that all the way up to the S-Pod. So, yeah. First, got to replace the switch. So what we've done here, guys, is we took the, this was the area of the switch that you would actually turn on and off. And I've removed that switch and I've extended those leads to this switch. And this is what's going to turn the air compressor on and off. The S-Pod is what's going to engage the air compressor, but the switch itself will not turn this on until I'm ready for air here. So <clears throat> on to this part. So we're going to put the air compressor down in here. So what we've done is we've got a L bracket here and an L bracket here. And then the air compressor comes in and it's going to sit on those brackets. And then we're gonna run some metal clamps from the edges here and the edge here over top of those L brackets. All right, so we're gonna use some U-bolts and we're going to put them underneath, like this, around the bracket. 
And then the plate, the the backing plate that's gonna that's gonna sit across here is gonna slide through the opening at the bottom of that air compressor, and it's going to pull up on the air compressor like that. So we'll get these guys installed next. Not too bad. Um, so that's in there now. We're going to go and uh, finish coating that uh, front plate. So before we get too much involved in the air compressor and the wiring, what I want to do is I want to uh, scuff this up. I want to take some of this paint off of this thing um, and scuff it up, put some etching primer down if I can find some kicking around here, uh, and then recoat this again um, just so that we can avoid this in the car wash because. Uh, this is like a plastic chrome thing, and uh, I didn't use etching primer the first time, so we're going to get that sorted out here first. Okay, so that should do it. As you can see, I was using a palm sander, and like I said, this is plastic, so I was moving very quickly. You don't want to spend a lot of time in one spot because you will end up burning the metal, or sorry, uh, melting the plastic. So I'm just going to go through now and hit it with some, uh, hit, get the corners in by hand. So. Okay, all right, next we're gonna hit it with some isopropyl alcohol. So just a little bit, you don't need much. Little dab about that big ought to do it. Go through, get all the crud and the garbage out of the edges. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna hit it with uh, a single stage etching primer and paint. Okay, we're gonna get that set up and then we're gonna sand it down. All right guys, next what we're doing, you'll see I've already wired the air compressor to this guy here. And what I've done is I've also just wired, I just ran this wire as well. So this wire is going down along the back there and then down into the firewall. Same, the same location that the S-Pod is switched. Now normally you don't have to do that if you're running an S-Pod. But because the accessory that I'm tapping into is in the cab of the truck, I had to. So what we've done is we've gone through. So we've ran those black and red wires down there in through here, following along there. Now I definitely need to vacuum that, so I'm gonna vacuum before I put this thing back on. And those are running all the way through, and then we've connected it into here. So this is the fridge that we're gonna, this is the, the plug for the fridge. Now in order to turn this on, all you need to do is go into your S-Pod and this first orange switch is the, the fridge switch. So turn that on and your fridge turns on. So that was easy, that didn't take very long. That only took maybe five, 10 minutes to run it from there all the way down that tunnel to the back of the cab.
Okay, so these are uh, <clears throat> what we're using to put into the top here of the grill. As you can see, the grill turned out nice. I've got like five coats on there. So it should, uh, it should do well, but this is what we're using. Now, I picked up a package of 150 of these off Amazon, I think for $25. Um, do that. Get a whole bunch of these from Amazon because they're very cheap. And these from any other store are going to be grossly inflated in price for whatever stupid reason. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these in. And then I will get the button ready for the air compressor. All right, guys. <clears throat> Last but not least, we're going to install the switch. So I've already taken a step bit. And I've just drilled a small hole in the top fascia of the grill. And all we're going to do from here literally is this. We're going to push it in. And you literally just take it, push it in, and there you go. Then we just do this. It's just like that, ladies and gentlemen. So. That is how you install a, uh, a non-permanent non air compressor in a more permanent way. That will give you a little bit of onboard air. I also tied up the engine bay a little bit. All right guys, so this is how we have it set up so far. Ditch lights, that's the top light bar. That's the refrigerator. That's the air compressor. And then this one is probably gonna be the winch at some point, and then we will have a spare. So, we are fully wired and good to go. Anyway, if uh, you're looking for an inexpensive way to get some onboard air inside of your Nissan Frontier, uh, or this might work for a Tacoma, it'll probably work for anything else, um, and you only have a chimpy little uh, portable air compressor, it's a really simple, easy way that you can make that air compressor integrated into your vehicle um, so that it's not taking up space in a drawer or in a box and you don't gotta lug it around anywhere. Um, so if you guys like the video hit that like and subscribe button if you guys want to follow along what we're doing here Get some more cool ideas for your truck and just kind of see the evolution of the build This truck has come a long way since we've started this YouTube channel So if you guys want to get some more cool ideas as to what you can do on yours Or you just kind of want to know what's going on with the group here at Mission Overland or with any of the boys that we hang out with um, <clears throat> Hit that like and subscribe button and smash that bell See you next week guys